Hi there, I'm Professor Figgy, and this is Kids Lab. Now, as you may know, there are three states of matter. Solid, like this marble tabletop, liquid, like this water here, and gas, like the air that we breathe. But did you know that some materials don't fit into just one of these categories? Today, on Kids Lab, we're going to make kinetic sand, which shows both properties of liquid and solid, which makes it a material known as a non-Newtonian fluid. Here in this bowl, I have one cup of plain sand. Now, if you get your sand and it's a little wet, you're gonna wanna bake it in the oven at 250 degrees for about 30 minutes until it's completely dry. And then you'll wanna let it cool entirely before you handle it. And we're going to add six tablespoons of cornstarch to it, like that. And then to make this kinetic sand extra special, we're gonna add what's called thermochromic pigment. Now, we need a tablespoon of this. Thermochromic pigment is pigment that changes color based on the temperature. So what you'll see when you play with this kinetic sand is that the heat from your hands will change the color of it. Now you wanna take your whisk and stir that around. You wanna really distribute your pigment here. Great, so just set that aside. And now we wanna prepare a little bit of a solution here of soap and water. So we're gonna take a teaspoon of dish soap and add that to one cup of warm water and stir that around until it's completely dissolved. And now connect sand that you buy in the store has silicone oil in it, which helps the sand granules to glide by one another and it makes it fluffy and that's what makes it move. But what we're doing here is using cornstarch and the water and soap to replicate that silicone oil. So take your whisk out of the bowl here, and this is where you're gonna get your hands involved. So add four tablespoons of the soap water mixture to your sand cornstarch mixture, and then you're gonna to wanna to get your hands in the bowl and start mixing it around. So mix that around. And if it's a little dry, you can add just the slightest bit more soapy water. You wanna get it to the consistency of wet sand and then that's when the kinetic sand will start to show its properties as a non-Newtonian fluid. Now, if you add too much water, that's okay. You can just balance that with a little bit more cornstarch and a little bit more sand. You can turn it out onto your table here to play with it. And it'll start to show the properties of a non-Newtonian fluid, which when you put force on it, it acts like a solid and holds its shape. But then when you release, it starts to flow like a liquid and that's aided by the cornstarch and the soap and the water. Okay, I'm gonna take my gloves off. Everything in this sand is perfectly safe to work with, and that's a better way to get the heat into the sand. So, if you watch here, you'll see the thermochromic pigment really, really work. It changes from red to yellow. Now, thermochromism simply means thermo, temperature, chromo, color, so with a change in temperature comes a change in color. And these pigments are specifically designed to change around room temperature, so 72 degrees Fahrenheit to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. You know what I think would be a lot of fun is if we had something to mold the sand in. I'll be right back. So I have a little cup here, and we can use that as our mold. So you wanna fill this to the top with your kinetic sand, and even as you fill it in, you can watch it flow to fill the shape of the cup. Get it all the way up to the top here. Great, and then unmold it. Look at that. And if you take just a simple craft stick like this, you can even slice it in half. And notice how when you apply force to it, it maintains its solid shape, but when you remove it, it starts to flow again. Let's cut this piece too. Ah, isn't that fabulous? Okay, so let's review what we learned today. We know that there are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. But we also learned that not all materials fit into just one of those categories. Non-Newtonian fluids, like this kinetic sand, act as both a solid and a liquid, depending on how much force is applied. I hope you enjoyed hanging out in the lab with me today. I sure had a lot of fun making this kinetic sand with you. And I wanna see what you're doing in your own labs. So share, 
photos and videos of your experiments with me on Facebook and Instagram.